Question number one. What is the leading cause of death in children under five years globally? C is the right action, respiratory infection. Question number two. The primary characteristics of acute glomerulonephritis in children is B is the right option, hematuria. Question number three. Which developmental milestone is typically achieved by a one-year-old child? A is the right option, walking independently. Question number four. Which congenital disorder is characterized by the absence of ganglion cell in the colon? A is the right option, heart sprung disease. Question number five. What is the recommended position for a child after a tonsillectomy? B is the right option, sideline position. Question number six. Which type of seizure is most common in children? C is the right option, febrile seizures. Question number seven. What is the most appropriate intervention for a child with mild graft? B is the right option, provide humidified air. Question number eight. Which electrolyte imbalance is most likely in children with severe dehydration? B is the right option, hyponatremia. Question number nine. What is the best method to assess pain in a toddler? B is the right option, paces pain scale. Question number 10. Which complication is most common in children with necrotic syndrome? B is the right option, infection. Question number 11. What is the most common type of congenital diaphragmatic hernia? A is the right option, Bogdalic hernia. Question number 12. What is the hallmark symptom of measles? A is the right option, complex spots. Question number 13. What is the recommended position for feeding an infant with clip plate? B is the right option, upright position. Question number 14. Which test is used to diagnose cystic fibrosis? A is the right option, sweet chloride test. Question number 15. What is the primary symptom of rheumatic fever in children? A is the right option, joint pain. Question number 16. What is the main dietary restriction for children with penicitinuria PKU? B is the right option, avoiding penalalaline. Question number 17. Which condition is characterized by whooping sound during coughing? A is the right option, pertosis. Question number 18. Which condition is characterized by an olive-shaped mass in the abdomen of an infant? A is the right option, pyloric stenosis. Question number 19. What is the hallmark symptom of pertosis in children? A is the right option, a woofing cough.
question number 20 which vaccine is given at birth to prevent hepatitis b a is the right option hepatitis b vaccine question number 21 what is the best indicator of hydration status in a pediatric patient C is the right option, urine output. Question number 22. Which condition is characterized by a current jail stool in children? Is the right option, intersection? Question number 23. What is the first line treatment for fever in children? C is the right option, paracetamol. Question number 24. Which developmental milestone is achieved by most children by 6 months of age? B is the right option, rolling over. Question number 25. Which condition present with a sunburst appearance in X-ray of a child long bones? A is the right option, ask you sarcoma. Question number 26. Which sign is indicative of increased intracranial pressure in infants? A is the right option, bulging pentanil. Question number 27. What is the recommended treatment for a child with severe dehydration? B is the right option, intravenous fluids. Question number 28. Which age group is most at risk for sudden infant death syndrome? A is the right option, 1 to 3 months. Question number 29. Which test is used to detect developmental dysplasia of the hip in newborn? B is the right option or Ptolemy test. Question number 30. Which medication is used to close a patient ductus arteriosus in preterm infants? A is the right option, endomethacine. Good luck for your upcoming test.